So this is Tim Sickles again. I'm tying a stonefly nymph. Uh, this is one that I use on my local waters and I found to be super effective. Uh, I'm going to start my thread actually right up here behind the eye and I'm going to tie in my antenna and tail here out of the same piece of rubber legs. I'm using a tan and brown barred rubber leg. Nothing fancy. Uh, now I want to take the bead and I'm actually going to thread the ends of this leg right up through the bead. Pull those legs forward. Tie them in there. Make sure they're sitting on top of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish those on. Cut my thread. Pull that bead up to the front. I'm going to come in here underneath those legs. Tie that in. And then secure those legs down. I'm going to wrap back. I'm going to wrap the legs back to the bend. I'm going to cut the uh, antenna and the legs to the length I want. I cut the antenna about, oh, I don't know, half the, half the hook gap. And I'm going to cut the tail about the, the length of the hook gap. Now I'm going to tie in a couple different things. First, I'm going to tie in wire that we'll use for the ribbing. I've got amber colored UTC wire in the brassy size. I'm going to tie that in on my side facing me. Wrap it right back to where the uh, legs are, or the tail is tied in. Next, I'm going to tie in a piece of copper mylar tinsel, or the hollow tinsel. Lastly, I'm going to come back up to the bead again. I'm going to tie in a piece of eighth inch black scud back. I'm just going to tie it up here. And as I wrap it back, I'm going to stretch it so that it doesn't create much bulk. It kind of allows me to control the uh, where it sits. So I want that to sit right on top. So now I'm going to dub the body. I'm using the uh, Nature Spirit Hairs Mask, just the natural color. And the reason I'm using the lighter color is, so this one's based on a squala. I was flipping rocks and started looking at uh, the uh, squala nymphs that I saw. And they have a very distinct kind of two-tone color to them. And they're much lighter on the bottom than they are on the top. So I'm using just this light natural hair's ear dubbing. So I want to give this body some bulk, so I'm dubbing a fair amount on this thread. I'm going to start pretty thin at the back and create a taper as I work towards the front. Okay, so now I've got the body dubbed. I'm going to take and start by pulling the scud back over first and tie that in. If anything, you want that scud back to sit a little closer to you than on top. And the reason is that will allow you, as you wrap, the wire is going to push the scud back over and hopefully end up centered. And do the same thing. I want that mylar tinsel to fall right in the middle with the scud back. Just trim off the excess on those. So that's what I've got right now. And you can see the it's sitting just a little bit off center right now. But as I wrap the wire, it should end up pretty much centered on the back of the fly. So now I'm just going to 
spiral wrap the uh, the wire to the front tie that off then you can just helicopter off the excess wire so now I'm going to take the classic uh, hairline dark hairs ear dub for the thorax and right now I'm just going to use a little bit and this is just going to be a little bit of a bump to prop up the wing case so you can see I had probably a little more scud back and body material that I needed there but I'll just go back over top of it and now here's the weird part I'm going to use foam on this thing um, you can see I've got a this is just the regular old one millimeter craft foam and the cinnamon color and I've taken and colored each side of it black I like that it gives kind of a buggy look and as you fish it more you'll lose a little bit of that that black color and it creates a real I don't know, actually pretty close to the uh, wing case of a squalor or a golden stone that mix of brown and black so now I'm cutting the shape of the wing case into this foam uh, you can see I've got it notched into the shape, that little V shape of a wing case. And I've cut that so it's uh, I don't know, about half the, half the hook gap. I'm going to tie in this first piece of foam. Get that secured down nicely. And then add a little more dub before we uh, tie in our legs. Now I can be kind of picky with these things sometimes and so I will come back and hit my exposed edges where I cut the uh, wing case with the black sharpie so it's black all the way around. I'm going to do the old knotted rubber legs here. I've got just the regular old black uh, round rubber legs. Create one knot for each leg. Make sure they're nice and tight. If you got that knot cinched down tight it won't come undone. Just ma make sure you leave yourself plenty of length to work with as you're tying these in. So now you can see this is the the leg I've got from my side, it's uh, got the joint in there with the knot. So before I tie these rubber legs in, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a dubbing base to work with. It just makes it so that the legs spread apart a little bit. Give myself a little more than I needed there. But then we'll take and tie these legs right on top of that dubbing base that I just made. So I'll do my side first. Don't tie these in too tight because you'll want to be able to position them. You can roll them back and forth to get that leg positioned how you want if it's still loosely tied in. Do the same thing on the other side. Now I can position these legs, rotate them so that the leg faces and I can slide them to point that I want. So I've got those legs so you can see if you pull them back they should be about where the body's tied in. Maybe just a short, a uh, hair short of that. So now to keep those legs split we're going to add a little bit more dubbing. wrap over the tie-in point for those legs to hide that and then we're going to wrap some more dub in front of that before we tie in the forward wing case so now I'm going to take and cut another wing case out of my one millimeter foam and I'm going to actually size this one up so I get the right
cut point here. I want to have just a little longer than I need so that I have enough to tie in. But if I do this right, the butt end of the foam will get tucked down behind the bead and you won't even see it. So I want it to sit over top of that other wing case with about half of it exposed and then tie in just about a sixteenth maybe a thirty second of an inch right behind that bead you can see so I've got that little lip there to secure this I'm gonna add just a little bit of super glue to my thread So now I've got that foam pretty well secured in there. The last thing, just add a little bit more dub so we can hide our thread collar there. I like these things to look super buggy. I think that's where the hair's ear dub lends itself pretty well. It just has a naturally bugginess to it. And then we'll finish this thing off. So the last steps here are color up the edges of your wing case. I'll even hit some of this dubbing on the top just to darken it so you get that full two-tone effect from the both the head and the or the thorax and the body. Take trim my legs. There you have it.